favorite. I do like the Pacific one. The Pacific one. Oh, so I have been using my my Pacifica Natural Body Care Indian Coca. Scratch, 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 scratch. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about coconut products. I have a whole box here full of coconut products that I use. I'm going to tell you my thoughts on them, whether I think they're worth it or not. I'm not going to give you prices, but I will try to link all of them down below. This video has been long overdue. I kept saying that I was going to do it. I was going to do it. I was going to do it. And like what, six months have passed and I'm finally doing it. So I'm so sorry it took so long, but let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so the first product I have here is from Pacifica. It is the Natural Body Care Indian Coconut Nectar Intensely Moisturizing Body Butter with Shea and Mango Butters. It is like a, what do they say? A sultry fresh coconut and a delicate creamy vanilla. It smells amazing, it's very moisturizing. It's a more natural brand. I love the way it feels on my skin and I love the way it smells. So I highly recommend this one. I think the packaging is super cute as well. Uh, you can find this at Ulta and at Target. So this stuff is bomb.com. Go along with that, I have the Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar Perfume. This one is pretty much almost gone. I probably have like one or two more uses out of this. I need to buy another one. Got this one from Ulta and I wear this like on a daily basis. I per I personally prefer like sweet, fruity scents when it comes to like fragrance and body lotions. So this one is right up my alley. It smells amazing. I don't think it's the most long lasting perfume, but when I spray it on me and it gets on my clothes, it will linger on my clothes. So maybe not so much on the skin it lingers throughout the day, but it will on your clothes. And I don't find that it like stains my clothes or anything like that when I get it on my clothes when I spray it. Another product that I absolutely love and recommend is the Better Homes and Gardens Creamy Tahitian Coconut Candle. This one is from Walmart. I think this is under, might be like $4 and some change. It's under $5, super affordable. It is 18 ounces and I love this so much. It smells like a creamy coconut. Um, this one, I just finished burning today. Somebody did mention that you could um, melt this into like a little wax pot. I have not tried that yet, but I will have to purchase one of those so that I can try that out so that I don't waste the little bit that's left in here. But I love this candle. It smells so incredible. So another product I enjoy is the Nature Well Extra Virgin Coconut Oil Moisturizing Body Wash. It has no parabens. It's dye-free, creamy, rich lather, hydrates, and restores. I got this at Sam's Club. It comes in a pack of two. I've been using this. I was using one from Costco that was more like citrusy, which I love that one as well, but then I started buying these and I love it. It smells so good, it lathers really well. And I'm not too picky with body washes, so if you like coconut, I think you would like this one. This is a Marc Anthony's Refreshing Coconut Clear Dry Shampoo. I haven't used this in a while because I had all these things in a box sitting in my closet waiting to film them and I just kind of forgot about some of these things. But I remembered I had this because I was kind of cleaning out my closet and I tried it today because I need to wash my hair, girl. Ever since I let my natural hair color grow in, my hair gets so oily so quickly. So I just, I've been washing it almost on a daily basis because I can't stand it. This time I went two days without washing it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta wash my hair. So I use this again, I hadn't used it in a while and it is completely clear, it does not have any white cast at all. It says cleanses, absorbs oil and adds volume. Um, it does add a little bit of volume and it is clear. It does absorb the oil, but not as much as I would like. It smells really, really good. So the only thing is I don't think it absorbs the oil as well as some of the other ones that I have, but I think it's because it's clear, it has no white powder at all. So that might be why, but if your hair's not too oily, I think this would work. If you have super oily hair where you wanna put dry shampoo in, I don't think this would work. Um, but I love the smell, I love the smell. I got this at Ulta. So I recently picked up this, it's the Healing Garden brand. It's called Natural Shea Body Lotion in the Coconut Calming Botanical Essential Oil Smell. No dyes, no parabens, no phthalates, no glycol, no animal testing, and this is eight ounces. It says lime essential oil to refresh and uplift the spirit, coconut milk to soften and moisturize the skin, shea and vitamin E to soften and moisturize the skin. So I got this at Walmart um, a while ago and then I threw it in this bin after I used it several times and I think it's nice. Um, it's not my favorite. I do like the Pacific one. The Pacific one. I like the Pacifica one better than this one. 
I feel like you can smell a little bit of lime on this. It doesn't say it's lime scent, but on the back it says lime essential oil. So I feel like I can kind of smell the lime on this a little bit. So I prefer the Pacifica scent one better than this one. But this was, I think, super affordable. It's probably under $10. I also picked up another two products from Walmart. This is the You Are Amazing brand. Hello, beautiful skin, body lotion, and the coconut water. This is paraben-free. This is also eight fluid ounces. The pure exotic essence of coconut water, our moisturizing body lotion, keeps the skin hydrated all day long so you can keep illuminated illuminating the world. Paraben and phthalate free, never tested on animals, made in the USA. So I think it smells really nice and I like the way it feels on the skin as well. But again, I prefer the Pacifica one over this one. I think that was also super affordable under $10, maybe under $8 could be like around $6, I don't remember, but it's been a while since I purchased it. Then there is the You Are Amazing Final Spritz Body Mist Coconut Water Scent, and it says, refresh yourself with the pure exotic essence of coconut water. Our delectable body mist adds that perfect final touch to make any confident girl even a tad bit more flawless. So if you like body mist and you like coconut, I think you would like this, it smells really good. And very affordable and then I just have a good old coconut oil this is the Carrington Farms pure unrefined cold pressed coconut oil 100% organic extra virgin I got this at Walmart long long ago and I actually need to start using this up because um, it does have an expiration on date on it but I've used more than half of it so I like to use this on my skin but I also like to use it in my hair if my if my hair is feeling extra dry, I will just kind of drench my hair in coconut oil and then let it sit for like 20 minutes and then wash my hair and put conditioner and just kind of do the normal routine that I would. But it just really helps hydrate my hair. I really like this stuff and I love it on the skin. It makes my skin nice and moisturized and just nice and glowy. It just looks like really shiny because it is an oil. So it does come like this when it's in a cooler temperature. So it's more of a solidified texture but if it does get in a warmer environment it will melt and be pure oil so you can also use this for cooking you can use it on your skin on your face i think coconut oil is comedogenic so it does clog the pores i've noticed when i've used it on my face i notice little bumps all over my face so i don't like to use this on my face you could also use this to remove all your makeup I've, i know lots of people use it for that as well but for me personally it clogs my pores so i just prefer not to use it on my face so this is a long lost love. It's been in this box and I've missed it so much. It's the Body Shop. It's just the Coconut Nourishing Body Butter. I love body butters. This one's nice and thick, very moisturizing. I love putting this on my legs, my arms, my feet. And I got this from the Body Shop when sometimes they have like 40% off the entire website. So I got several of these um, a while back and I just absolutely love this one. It's one of my favorites. It smells great. It's more of a natural brand so really recommend this one if you like coconut obviously if you're watching this video you probably like coconut right <laughs> another one that i really love and discovered recently is the trader joe's coconut body butter luxurious body butter made with coconut oil shea butter and vitamin e this is super super affordable it's cheaper than the body shop one and i just love it i love the packaging on this it actually flips up like that so you don't have to screw the top off and i think that's genius this one has a different texture. It's, I would say the other one's more whipped, the one from the body shop. This one's a little bit thicker, but creamier, a little bit more, not oily, I don't wanna say oily, but like dimethicone feeling, I don't know, but it feels amazing on the skin. Love the smell, it smells incredible. I love that one so much. I'm gonna say I love most of these products. <laughs> So this is by OGX. This is the Weightless Hydration Plus Coconut Water Weightless Hydration Oil. Drench your hydrated strands with this ultra lightweight, ultra light blend of weightless hydrating blend of coconut water, electrolytes, and coconut oil. This supercharged blend helps to transform dry, parched hair into silky, shiny perfection. So this was sent to me a long time ago from OGX. I got like a big box of hair care products. I was like surprised because I don't know how they got my address but I was really happy to receive all those products. I love trying new things. So this, I obviously have used most of it up. I've used more than half. I have about this much left and I love this stuff. Um, smells good. I like to spray this on my hair 
when the ends are looking kind of dull and frizzy and dry, like if I need to give my hair a little bit of moisture and a little bit of shine and eliminate the frizz, I will spray this on my hair. So I really, really like this. Definitely would repurchase that. Then they also sent the Quenching Coconut Curls Frizz Define Curl Styling Milk. And this is Drench Your Curls, this milky cream blend with coconut oil, sweet honey, and a twist of citrus oil helps to enhance natural softness, boosts, decadent spirals and tame frizz for beautiful tumbling waves with bounce and shine. So this is not my favorite. I've tried several like curl creams and I just don't really like them that much. I feel like it feels like you're putting conditioner on your hair and leaving it on your hair and just letting it dry. I just, I don't like the way that it feels. This one I would say is better than some others that I've tried. I have to like do it when my hair's damp and then let it dry and not mess with it too much. But once it's dry, then I can scrunch it. But if, I feel like if I scrunch it too much while it's still damp with this in it, I feel like it gets too frizzy. So this is okay. I wouldn't purchase, go out and purchase it or anything like that. I will try to use it up, but it's, it's curl creams are just not my favorite. So I have some deodorants here. This is the Suave Clinical Protection Prescription Strength Wetness Protection in Coconut Kiss. So I was using this for a while, but I stopped using all of my antiperspirant deodorants. I've been trying to stick with more natural deodorants. However, I just, I'm struggling because most natural ones don't work well. I feel like these actually don't work well sometimes for me. Normally when I'm around my menstrual cycle, I feel like that's when I need like a clinical strength deodorant the most, but then the combination of what my body odor with the scent of the deodorant, I don't like the combination. Like I just don't like the way it smells. So I've been trying to stick with either just natural or I've been using like the men's non antiperspirant deodorants. So anyway, this one smells, it smells good, but it, I feel like it smells kind of sweet, but then it smells a little funky at the end. I don't know. It has a little bit of an after smell. So that one's okay. And then I have the Dove Advanced Care Caring Coconut one. This is more of a solid stick. The other one was more of a cream. This one has like a fresh coconut smell. So not like a sweet coconut, but more of a fresh coconut smell. Again, okay, not the best. And then lastly, I have the Invisible Solid Secret. And this is the Scent Expressions in Coconut Splash scent. And of the three, I think this is my favorite smelling one. But again, if it doesn't work when I need it to work, then I'd rather just stick with natural deodorant. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna repurchase any more antiperspirant deodorants. I'm just not. So this I got at TJ Maxx. It's the A La Mason de Providence Coconut Cream Moisturizing Shea Butter and Argan Oil Body Lotion. It's paraben free. Not sure if you can purchase this from any website or not. Oh, yeah. alamasonbodycare.com. And this is a French formula and it is a product of Canada. So traditional, traditional French formula for hand and body, 100% vegetable base, ultra moisturizing, no SLS, parabens or phthalates, cruelty free, biodegradable. This is nice. Um, it doesn't smell as sweet as some of the other coconut lotions I showed you guys. This one's a little bit more a fresh. I think I would say it's more like a fresh coconut scent, not a sweet coconut scent, but I do like it and I have used it several, several times. Not my favorite. I prefer the more sweeter one. So I have these two, which I haven't used enough to really comment on them, but this is the Yes2 Coconut Hydrate and Restore Ultra Hydrating Melting Cleanser. I've used this like a couple times. I think it worked really well uh, from what I recall, but I do need to use it more. So it is paraben free, it's 99% natural, so I should probably use it up soon because I need to put this in my bathroom and use it up, or not in my bathroom, I need to put it like in my shower. So basically use with or without water for a unique cleansing experience. So I kind of just rub this all over my face and then I wet my face and then kind of just helps melt off my makeup. This is a new one that I purchased. I haven't really used this one yet. This is the Yes to Coconut Hydrate and Restore Ultra Hydrating Cream Cleanser. And this is 90%, 96% natural. So this one, I haven't really tested out. So I feel like I'm scattering through my room trying to find the rest of the coconut products. Oh, I have some more back there. Oh my gosh, I have so many. This I haven't really used yet either. This is the Yes to Coconut Hydrate and Restore Ultra Hydrating Facial Souffle Moisturizer. Now I hope because this is like coconut oil base that it won't break me out. 
but it's just like a cream moisturizer. I got it at TJ Maxx for like $5.99, but I haven't used it yet. If you guys have used that, let us know your thoughts below. I have some lip products here. This is the Yes to Coconut Hydrate and Restore Cooling Lip Oil. I love this stuff so much. I've raved about it in several videos. I have a backup here that I haven't opened. So I really like the way this feels on the lips. It feels nice and hydrating and I like to put this on all the time. It's just, ugh, I like love the way it feels. <laughs> um, and then I have a Revlon Kiss Balm Tropical Coconut. This is really nice as well. I really like this. It smells more like tropical coconut. Mm, smells so good and it's nice and balmy and it feels great on the lips and then I have this one from Milani it's the moisture lock oil infused lip oil or something like that the writing's kind of rubbing off but this is the coconut coconut almond one I'm almost done with this I don't like the oh I don't like the applicator on here it like literally takes up all of the space in here but as you can see I'm almost done with this one See the applicator just like takes up the whole freaking space inside. So this one I'm not as crazy about. I much prefer the Yes to Coconut cooling lip oil over this one. I just think it's much nicer. This one, yeah. And I have another one from Ulta. Oh, hold on. I have this one. It's from Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil and Coconut. This one I actually prefer over the Milani one. So if you're gonna pick one or the other, I would go with this one. The applicator on here is much better. And I just like the way this one feels on the lips better than the Milani one. I feel like the Milani one, when I first got it, I didn't like it at all. It's kind of grown on me a little, but I don't think I would repurchase it. It just feels, or just kind of tastes like a little chemical-like, where I feel like this one's better from Ulta. So one of my all-time favorite products is the Prolescence Coconut Water Hydrating Face Mist. Oh my God, this stuff is amazing. I love it. These retail for $20, but I've been purchasing mine at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, and you can find them for $5.99. This one has a label that says $7.99. They used to be $7.99, but recently when I went in there and purchased backups, they're only $5.99. $5.99 versus $20. And you get a lot of product in here, and this is one of my favorite facial mists. It's, it missed out really, really nice. Sprayer's great on here. You get a lot of product. Smells like nice, refreshing coconut, and they also have a rose and cucumber scent one, which I also own, but every time I see a coconut one, I purchase a backup. I probably have like seven or eight of them in my closet. I know it's a little excessive, but it's my favorite facial setting mist. It just makes my face feel more hydrated, and if I look too powdery, I like to spray this on my face to take away that powdery look. So this I highly recommend checking out at TJ Maxx. This is like the never ending coconut video because I have so many more products. I even have some like snacks, uh, coconut snacks that I really like. I didn't bring them up here. Let me see if after I fill these next few products, if I can go run and get them. So this is the Jurgens oil infused moisturizer, coconut with hydrating oil for luminous skin. Love this, I got this at Target. It's very affordable. It smells great, I like it. It's, it's good, I like it. Um, this is the Body Shop Coconut Body Mist, and I've already gone through one of these. I have a few backups, and I just love this as well. So before I purchase another one from Pacifica, that perfume that I showed you guys, I need to finish a couple of these from the Body Shop since I have a couple, like a few. I think I have a few. So yeah, I need to finish these, but it smells really, really good. This is the Nature Well Extra Virgin Coconut Oil Moisturizing Cream. Love this stuff. It smells good. I got this at Sam's Club. I think you can also find it on Amazon. I will link it below, but it smells good. It makes my skin feel incredibly soft. Oh, it's just really like creamy, really, really creamy. I love it. I love this stuff. So this is another good lotion. All right, so I have a few snacks here. These are the dark chocolate coconut almonds, and they are Roasted almonds covered in coconut and rich dark chocolate. Love these, they're almost gone. So they look like this. They're delicious. So I love almonds, dark chocolate, and coconut. So those are perfect for me. If you like those three things, I think you would love those as well. I got them at Costco. They're by the brand Barton's. If I can find them on Amazon or anywhere online, I will link them below. So another snack I love is the Mrs. Thinster's Cookie Thins. These are the toasted coconut ones. These have no artificial ingredients, contains tree nuts, no corn syrup, non-GMO. They're a very crunchy, thin cookie. Oh, 
this is pretty much gone. My husband, sometimes, do any of your husbands do this or your kids or anybody in your family, brothers? I mean, you're just gonna leave the crumbs in the pantry? <laughs> like, don't put it back in the pantry if it's just crumbs. Anyways, this is what the cookie looks like. They're very thin. Mmm, love those. Love those, they're so good. And then the last snack is the Bark Thins Snacking Chocolate. This is in the dark chocolate coconut with almonds. Again, coconut, almonds, dark chocolate, perfection. So I love these. And these you could find at Target. They look, so these look like this. Okay, so I have a few more things. I did mention these products in my recent empties video, so if you already saw that, you could probably click out of this video now. But I just wanted to mention them for those who did not watch. This is the seventh generation coconut care made with pure coconut oil, moisture lotion, gently nourishes and soothes. Um, it's a non-toxic formula. This is for kids. I got it at Target in the children or in the like baby section. So I bought this for my daughter. It has no mineral oil, petroleum, parabens, phthalates, or formaldehyde donors. So I, I enjoyed using this on my daughter. It smells really nice. And I almost felt like it had a little bit of, not a lot of grit to it, but I felt like there was little specks of coconut throughout the lotion, but very sparsely. I don't know. Maybe it was my imagination, but I felt like, I felt like there was little pieces of coconut in there. I could be wrong. And then this is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I have a full size of this, but I love this. It's a primer moisturizer. It's from First Aid Beauty. Love this stuff so much. It smells really good and it feels great on the skin. You can find that at Sephora. This is the Suave Professionals Coconut Milk Infusion. This is the conditioner. I still have the shampoo in my shower, which I think is now gone. I need to put it in an empties video. But I really love the Suave Professionals line and I love the coconut one and I like the rosemary mint. But this makes my hair feel incredibly soft. It lathers really good. Oh, this one's not the shampoo. But the shampoo lathers really well. The conditioner makes my hair extremely soft. Very manageable. Really like this stuff and it's so affordable. And then these two are from Ren Pure. They're the coconut milk shampoo and cream co-wash cleansing conditioner. I didn't love these too much. This is more of a natural brand, which I, I'm trying to use more natural brands, but it's, it's sometimes it's hard because some of them make my hair feel like straw. I feel like this one made my hair feel like straw. Just made it feel like very dry and rough, and I just didn't like the way my hair, hair felt with this. So this has zero, zero sodium chloride, sulfate dyes, harsh salts, parabens, or gluten. This one was not my favorite. If you have any recommendations on a natural like coconut hair product let me know in the comment section so this one i got at tj maxx for probably like 5.99 6.99 and wasn't my favorite i i wouldn't purchase that again and then the last product in this video this video is going to be super long it's the jerkins hydrating coconut body cream hydrates and softens i really like this i was very surprised that i like this smelled really good I just, it was good, it was affordable. I got this at Ulta.com. So it's very similar to this one, but I feel like this one's a thicker formula versus this one here. So I know I have some more coconut products in my spare bathroom under the sink. There's some like leave-in conditioners. I wasn't even gonna go attempt to go get those and put them in this video. I haven't used them in a really long time, but these were all the more recent products that I've been using. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys like coconut products and you wanna recommend any products down below in the comments, please do. So I would love for you guys to share those with us and thank you guys so much for watching as you always do. I love you guys, have a great day, bye.